Why are you blocking a shotgun? It's a shotgun! What's up folks, this is Bravery the Gaming Mole here, and this is actually a post-commentary. Alright, we're well, I'm playing Buck demo on well, you can download it off Steam. Buck is a post-apocalyptic action adventure game Get a good night's rest. that's put that has player-driven dialogue and it's inspired by a real dog. Don't sit there and pretend. I'm guessing that the character is inspired by a real dog, not the story. Because I don't think the I don't think the story would be a real would be about a real dog. At least not in this world. Maybe it's something like All Dogs Go to Heaven or Oliver and Company. Maybe that would happen. But I don't think this is the case here. I actually love this opening here because it, I don't know, it just speaks to me. Probably due to the voice acting. Now, I actually did have a lot of trouble trying to get this recorded, and I'm actually lucky to have it recorded the way it is now. So I apologize for the huge black boxing that there is. I'm going to try and fix that. But don't expect any don't expect any miracles from me. I mean, I'm actually happy that this game can run on my computer because a lot of the games that I've been trying out lately just don't seem to work. Now, since this is a post commentary, I'm going to try and explain what I'm doing. Which basically, right now, I was trying to. I was trying to keep the mood in the story since the narrator was talking in the background. I wanted, out there. it's like I wanted to basically Not walk towards the next area, so I tried my best to do that. <laughs> to actually explain how many times I had to go through recording this, hold on. <laughs> the fire stack of rotten meat and gasoline. The map that Jody had left behind has led him straight to West Town, which is anything but welcoming. And the game already establishes what the heck I'm doing, which I love that. I don't have to sit here for about three hours trying to figure out what the heck this is all about. I actually had to, now to explain, I actually had to record this about five different times, or was it four? Four or five different times to actually get a recording to work. Every other time I just kept getting crap recordings. And here's our first combat scene. It's like now that's one thing is that these guys pretty much show no mercy. Although I do have to question how you're able to take three shots from a shotgun. What else could he do but walk inside? There was something different about the guard. I know if this was actually me. I would, I would just turn, a, I would just turn around and go back. Even if it was just my, like, even if this was just for a girl, uh, -uh. I'm, I was like, I'm gone. <laughs> Cause this is obviously some place where I don't belong. <laughs> there are other fish in the sea, although I guess in a post-apocalyptic wasteland, I probably should just take what I can get and keep it as long and try and keep it <laughs> and well this game isn't about me stop who are you how did you get in here yeah well your front gate is open <laughs> what how is that possible did the guard let you in I'm afraid your guard is dead but the two bad smelling scumbags who did it are now in the ground damn these vultures it was bound to happen again poor rusty nevertheless you need to leave this place Hi. immediately uh, actually, no, I need... Look, I ain't from around here. West Town is the only I love it. I, have. I ain't I'm from around here. someone who's gone missing. <sighs> Never turn down a new mongrel, Zoe. Finally, like, Look, some act no like actual natural voice rusty. acting. <laughs> Mug, Zoe here. I'm sending a new recruit down your way. Over. You recruit? Are you kidding me? Shh. A new recruit? <laughs> Send him in. I actually questioned this little doing? bit right here. What's your name? Buck. 
Listen, Buck. No one enters West Town without giving something in return. You'll see in a minute. To ask about like, the girl. I didn't plan on staying. If it means that much to you, then you can help us out in return. It's a fair trade, Buck. Don't like it? I can just kick your ass yeah. out of the gate. Dang! You serious? Okay. okay. Fine. See, this now, is natural. I mean, he spoke me. under his okay. breath to say that. Convince <laughs> him that you can be useful. Otherwise, I can't guarantee your safety. <laughs> What are you waiting for? Go talk to Mama. You're just gonna kick me out because I don't want to help. What kind of pub calls itself a boneyard? Actually, I think the boneyard is is, is quite a normal name for a pub. For the life of me, I can't remember the old name. But I guess this place used I to be Happyville, so do. to be called a boneyard now would probably be is probably yeah bad. smell of wet dog's fur. Nasty combination. It's like, and I like how every, I like how that little group just suddenly looked at me and then turned away. You to quit now. Yeah, that's what Zoe said. Well, I'm asking you. Not well, so she, the, well. Did you go to these uh, vultures? Is that what you call them? Vultures, pests, bastards, See, betrayers. this was the guy Rest that was speaking on the radio, I think. Just what exactly and it kind of just makes me go, town. um... That didn't sound and like him over the radio. Here, look. Is there any chance Not in personality seen? or in voice. I'll tell you what I do see. A problem that isn't mine. Why even bother coming to West Town? You're just wasting Look, I came here for questions, oh, and I have a gun. Seems to be a thing guns up. Although, I, have I guess having a gun means have, very little I have here. No time for this idle chatter. You reek of youth and overconfidence. In West Town, everybody earns their stay. You're going to prove that. I don't know. Buck looks about twenty. Scrap. Hmm. Let alone my time. You're going to head down to Old Town and salvage whatever supplies you can. And if you find any soldiers down there wearing our colors, send them back here. Do a small favor for West Town, and I might just consider. I didn't stay. plan on yeah. staying. I just, uh, I, I just came to ask about down. this girl. <laughs> but, uh, what planet are you from, boy? Show me that little map of yours. Here, a short drive to the east. And this is the town folk people. It's like here we have our drunk we have our guy drinking his sorrows away. It looked more like a bunker rather than a pub. And the place is looking like it's being turned into <laughs> turned into a place for a shootout. Be ready for a shootout. Everybody has a gun. <laughs> yeah, this game lays it on this game lays it on thick to let you know that this is a post apocalyptic yeah, wasteland. Got there, nothing to say to you. It's like there is no reason to be happy here. We just we just live here and we I have to survive. Baby running. Come back later. And that's probably the most energetic guy you'll see in this game. <laughs> I've uh, got some thinking to do. Come back later. Although, when I see games like this, although every time I'm starting to see games like this now, in the year 2016, or really back since 2010, it's like seeing, the, like, seeing the landscape like this, it just makes me think that this is going to be a zombie survival horror. Because this is pretty much every setting ever for a zombie survival horror. I mean, the only difference here is that there's that there's a lot more people than at than the average. Usually, there's like about five. Usually, there's about five people standing around, and they're just and they're paranoid, <laughs> except for the one guy that's uh, that's supposed to be the leader, <laughs> and of course yourself. <laughs> here we have like ten to twelve people, all armed with guns, but still. This could still be zombie this could still be zombie survival horror. However, thank God it's not. I'm so sick of zombie survival games or really I'm so sick of games that decide to go, "Okay, well, what do we 
What we need to establish that the world sucks. Let's throw zombies it's in tremendous it. Tremendous effort to build all town. Makes my heart to see how little remains. Oh man, I'm actually glad I found out the reload button on my fourth try because I was having so much trouble trying to reload my guns. Oh yeah, like I said, these guys don't play. Two hits from this guy, I'm already at half life. And somehow I missed. Look. Just, Okay. See, I rather have the dual pistols. I rather just use the dual pistols than the shotgun, because I can, I can dish out a lot more damage that way. But this game seems to have taken a page from Resident Evil and give me very little. Well, give me very little ammo. <laughs> Although I guess I can't complain because I do have a lot of shotgun ammo. Except one problem, which is right here. How do you block a shotgun? How are you blocking a shotgun? It's a shotgun! How are you blocking bullets? You're using a steel bat, and you're blocking... Although I guess I shouldn't be complaining because I'm able to take a shot from I'm able to take a point blank something shot from a shotgun myself, but still, I'm I'm still more used to my guns are better than yours because you're just a generic enemy and I'm the player character. I'm still used to that mentality. Now I actually remember here that I managed to glitch the game and actually be able to kill these two enemies coming up right here pretty easily but I can't seem to trigger that glitch again so I'm just gonna have to fight it out oh and there is a dodge button for the game but the dodge hasn't been implemented and the melee hasn't been implemented in the game yet either well I killed you guys and I'm just gonna take your ammo because that's how I roll and bay it's like see now that guy dies in two shots from a shotgun which is acceptable this guy took three at point blank so they must they must all have body armor or something but still once again As soon as I- oh, wait, I died here. Yeah. See, these guys are merciless, and me trying to reload is actually pretty bad. I sit here and I try to reload, and it just doesn't- and I'm like, I can't get it to work. Or really, I did get it to work, but I- my reload animation is so slow. that they don't just beat me to death like Gordon Freeman with a crowbar. <laughs> Ow, ow, uh, see, see? <laughs> and that's two game overs. There are health items, but I'm trying my best not to use them. Because, well, like, ammo, it's kind of scarce. And you get pretty much only one use. It's a good thing I can just run past them just so I can get some space and keep shooting. Otherwise, I would just be frustrated and say I pretty much quit this game because there's nothing else I can do. <laughs> but die over and over and over again. See, you took three shots, sir. <laughs> and I don't see any body armor whatsoever.
Now apparently before the enemies didn't make a sound when they showed up so I guess it's a very good thing that they do actually make noises now to let people know that they're showing up. Ow! See I took a shot and it like nearly killed me. And I guess it ha I guess it's rather funny that a hyena is that a hyena is having the shotgun, so he can laugh at you every time he gets a shot off. And wow, see, this would say this that would say zombie survival, except it's not. And I can't even begin yeah, to explain. This is sad. I'm sorry you had to see this insanity. There was nothing you could do for them. Just leave, Bucky. Don't think about it. This isn't your war. Wow, I mean, this, this just like this really got this really got me into the game. Just here, like just having that guy narrate everything, that really got me into it. Like I'm, I, like I'm in a movie or a TV or in the TV series. This town was built on the ashes of mistakes. Mistakes that, for some reason, we can't seem to stop repeating. I would actually love it if this made it as a TV series. Although then you probably have to really branch out and draw the story. And what the heck was that noise? Oh, well, now we have a new enemy, and this guy is oh dear god. Like, he even has a muzzle on him! Yeah, now, okay, see, now this pretty much dispels any thought that I have whatsoever that there's gonna be zombies in this game. Now this just pretty much says that this is gang war. Because I don't like, I don't know about anyone else, but pretty much whenever I see movies, TV shows, or games, that have some sort of gang war involved or some sort of like or some sort of war involved between two different groups and like they're both kinda crazy usually the crazy one will have the usually the crazy one will have that one guy that's so insane that they have to put that they have to put him in a straitjacket or put a muzzle on him in some way and they pretty much just let them loose on you because they're because they're so sick of they're so sick and tired of you living, and they want you dead. So they whip him out so they can have you fight them and laugh at you while you struggle. <laughs> yeah, this pretty much tells me gang war. I'm glad to see you're back in one piece, Bucky. But I hope for your sake that you didn't return empty-handed. To find well, if I return it the headed, I still have a shotgun and dual pistols. I see. Zoe, I'm sorry. Although I guess that means, although like I said, I guess that means nothing here as well as money. Yeah, thanks for telling me, but I'm using a controller. <laughs> Mac, and so the stranger returns. I managed to find some supplies. And our boys? What of the scouts? They're dead. I'm sorry that I have to be the one to tell you this. They're all dead. You're not sorry. You did your mission on last night. <laughs> yes, I am sorry. I mean, dude, I just saw a, I saw a pile of dead bodies, and I just killed like twelve guys. I appreciate it. I know this is I know this is like post-apocalyptia, and I'm doing what I can to survive. But I do hate seeing people. I do hate seeing death everywhere. Oh, hold on. Okay. Go look for Zack, our mechanic. 
town's generator is causing trouble again. Okay, thank you for telling me what I need to go do next. Because, kind of just leave me in the dark here. And this dude's got a sniper rifle. A makeshift one, but dude. Come on, girl. Just hold on a little longer. She really sounds like she needs a new carburetor. No way, man. I changed it last week. Should be just fine. And did you clean the auto choke mechanism? I have no idea what no. that means. Wait a second. Who are you? I know every mechanic there is to know. Name's Buck. I've got a deal with Mug, so I'm offering my help to anyone in town. Nice truck, by the way. But her engine isn't doing so well, isn't it? Finally! Another mechanic! This is just awesome! Alright, so here's the problem. Me and my very talkative brother Jack here are under a lot of pressure. We've been I assume your brother is the on, one in the driver's seat. Really bad yeah, he's not talking. We need some high-grade tools. I'm talking lost tech. Lost tech tools? What are those? Tools from Haven, man. There's only one dude who can get his hands on Lost Tech. Nibbler the Salvager. If you can find him yeah. and convince him to sell you the tools, you'll be helping us. Big time. Nibbler. Alright, got it. Where can I find his shop? Beats me. <laughs> I'd go look for him myself if I could. Zach, you're really not giving me anything to go on here. Well, I would go to the junkyard. That's where he gets all of his stuff. The junkyard. Alright, where is that exactly? So you go to the right and talk to Simon. He knows this desert better than anyone else. He'll tell you how to get there. Easily. Yeah, I actually right, did forget that I'm in a desert. You're the best, <laughs> fucky. Considering everything. Usually when I see desert, I, you, I tend to think that I'm not going to see anything but endless, endless sand. Chance that you're Simon? Greetings, stranger. I'm here on Zach's behalf. He said you can point me towards the junkyard. What's your business there exactly? We're gonna look for Nibbler the Salvager. That would be like finding a sane dog in vulture territory. Uh, well, uh, look, I have to take um, a chance. I mean, all right. I don't have I'm anything else to do. <laughs> map for you. Thanks. Just do me a favor, lad. When you come back, or more correctly, if you come back, Come talk to me, will look, you? Look, I'm gonna come back. I mean, I'm the main character. I gave you I the have safest the directions to the junkyard. I have the privilege of coming back. Good luck. <laughs> You'll need it. You, you kind of, you're like, you're kind of in danger here. I mean, you're an NPC, so you have that risk of when I come back here, you won't be here. <laughs> Does he have anything else to say? Go look for Zack. No, oh, nothing else. See, I would have been like, hey, I'm going to the junkyard. I'll be back. <laughs> or, do you have any updates on the girl I'm looking for? Although, it only been a couple of minutes, so I doubt he would. And that pretty much ends the game. Well, ends this demo. She's not worth it, Bucky. Just forget about her. And get a good night's rest. I'm not leaving because of Joni. Then why? You always said that there was nothing for me out there. But you knew all along. We're not alone. And all these years, you were lying to me. I was trying to protect you from them. Is lying the only thing you know how to do? Son, I... I was just trying to keep a promise to somebody who broke his own.
I just pray that for once in my life, history will not repeat itself. Okay, and that was the demo. I hope you enjoyed. This does have a Kickstarter going, and I believe it's about 13, 14 days left. I don't think they're... I'm not sure how far they are in their goal. They're a little over halfway on their goal. So, yeah, so if you actually like this game and you want to see it, then... Well, go ahead. Oh. But I'm not gonna tell. I'm not gonna tell you to just give money. I'm not gonna tell you to just go ahead and throw money in at the game, because I know there's a lot of people that will say that are just like, oh well, we like I paid money in the Kickstarter last time, and Kickstarter sucked, and things like that. Especially after a lot of people are so angry at Mighty Number no. Nine, and also this is coming from a guy that has never get put money into a Kickstarter ever. That's generally because I don't have the money to put it into a Kickstarter. But if you like the game, then prom then promote it. If not, well, that was the demo. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I did. I actually am interested in seeing more of this game, and hopefully it'll hopefully it'll be well hopefully it'll be made and finished uh, as of next year in. As of the second quarter of next year. Anyway, this is Brad Reed the Gaming Mole signing off. Thanks for watching. Thanks for watching. Thanks for watching. Thanks for watching.